today we're going to make a, another vase, uh, this time out of redwood, and we're going to use the steel frog in them again. This nice piece of wood has a nice little indentation where the bark was. So let's go ahead and do it. Just let it set up just a little bit and then bring the tail stock up and put some pressure on it. Just go ahead and let it set up for a couple of minutes before you start turning it. Let the glue harden up. All right, once the glue sets up, we'll go ahead and uh, just true the piece up, get the tool rest as close as possible, and uh, go ahead and clean it up. Once you get the piece trued up, just go ahead and pick out a shape you like and, and start forming it. I'm just going to go ahead and round the corners over here. I'm going to try and leave leave as much of this as I as possible. So I'm not going to bring it around too much more. I'm just going to clean the face off. And put the hole in the center for the frog. Just always try and keep your tool rest as close to the workpiece as possible. That way your chisel's not hanging out there too far and catch. got a nice little uh, indentation here, still a little bit of the bark in. We're going to put the frog right here in the center, but that'll leave, that's be a nice little touch. You know, whenever you find something like that, if it, if it still looks good, um, try and leave it in. It, I mean, it's a nice little uh, touch to the piece. Let's go ahead and uh, put the hole in the center and then uh, sand it up. Just using a flat nose scraper, just have, have the tool rest just above center so that the chisel is actually tipping down just a little bit. We're going to go ahead and uh, check our diameter for the frog. Just, just a little bit, a little bit more. And then for the depth, depth gauge works nice. And just set it a little bit shallow on this so you don't go over, put it down in there too far. Got about 
probably half an inch to go. About a quarter left. And our diameter is just about right. Maybe sanding will clean up if it's if it's uh, pretty close, a little bit of sanding is going to clean it, clean that up. looks good and we'll go ahead and uh, sand the sand it up and then go ahead and part it off I'm just gonna go ahead and run through the grits and once again I am using wax to sand with it helps cut down on the sanding dust just a little preventative medicine for my lungs just go ahead and turn the lathe speed back down around 300 When you, uh, when you do have something like a natural edge like this in the in the in the piece, um, and you're sanding it, you don't want to push the sandpaper straight in. It what it'll do is it'll sand this area here, all along here, more than it will sand this area. So you have a sharp edge here, and this will be beat down from the sandpaper. So you just just hold your fingers flat and let it and put a, just light pressure on it. Um, go ahead and part it off and then uh, finish the bottom. There you have it. It's a nice little feature there.